Clients want a rich asset model that includes all the information they need for the effective and safe operation of the building. At Active Plan, we specialise in pulling together all the BIM files and creating an asset information model with the coordinated handover data that feeds into the FM applications. So we know what trips up projects trying to deliver BIM Level 2. The first thing clients need to understand is that there's never a single BIM model that all the disciplines work on. They each produce their own models for their own purposes and share files at agreed stages so they can be imported into a federated model for visualisation and coordination. Active Kobe is an asset information model that federates both the geometry and also the Kobe data. We glue together the different BIM files in Active Kobe, typically Revit, IFC or AutoCAD. We also read in schedules that cover what was actually purchased. Here we start with the architect's model. That acts as the base for us to bring in the FF&E suppliers model, and perhaps the most important from a maintenance perspective, the MEP. In fact, a project can easily have 20 or 30 designers and contractors creating BIM models, CAD files and schedules that contain important asset information. Just as the geometry from each discipline needs to come into a single coordinated model, the Kobe spreadsheets each supplier is producing also need to be coordinated. Active Kobe is an asset information model that can read the Kobe spreadsheets directly check that they contain the right information in the right format and federate them with the other Kobe spreadsheet each discipline has to provide under BIM Level 2. As long as the geometric models contain the keys set out in the BIM execution plan, the geometric and non-geometric models are automatically connected, creating the auditable and easily updated asset information model that generates coordinated outputs FM applications can easily read. So why not simply load all of the data into a federated Revit model? If we drill into this plant room and click on the boiler, we can see the information that's been added to the Revit object. This uses a Revit feature called Shared Parameters, which allows you to add simple text fields against an object. It looks great, but there are two issues that prevent it being usable asset data. Firstly, a lot of it isn't computer readable. For example, they've added unit of measure, millimetres, watts or volts, to the value. A database would expect each value to be the correct data type, so 145 would be the number, and watt a unit of measure. That's why IFC Kobe requires information to be broken down into manageable packages. Secondly, shared parameters aren't designed to hold important data. If the Revit author brings in a new object from an external library, a shared parameter on one object can be overwritten by another shared parameter on a different object. Also, the BRE has found that some export tools work by reading the parameter text. So objects with several different parameters for recovery rate, for example, could provide the incorrect value because the reporter picks up on the first mention of recovery rate. They've reported this to Autodesk and it'll probably be fixed, but it highlights the importance of managing data in proper databases. Finally, if you look at most of this rich data, it's for designers, not for the FM teams. Rather than asking designers and supply chains to add FM data into tools like Revit or Archicad, we hold that data in databases where it can be properly structured and much more easily managed. The technology of web services means that they're easily connected to other databases, so a much wider community can contribute in providing the data and keeping it up to date. Active Kobe is a SQL database created around the IFC Kobe schema, which means the IFC asset data models and geometric models are connected. So now, when we click on the same boiler, we see the asset information which is being managed in a cloud-based product library that has millions of products and a much wider community of manufacturers and suppliers to keep it up to date.